I got evidence, I got confidence, I'm a conqueror, conqueror, I know that I win, I know who's and who I am, I wrote it in his plan for My name is Victory. I got evidence. I got confidence. I'm a conqueror. I know that I win. I know who's and who I am. I wrote it in his plan for me. Hallelujah. Obedience to God whom is the head of my life. Is he the head of your life today to Jesus whom died on the cross for all of our sins and the Holy Spirit that dwells within me? No worry about the light and the dark, the light and the dark, because I'm no longer in the dark. However, uh, I was led by the Spirit of God to get up early this morning. First, I had received a phone call from one of my pastor friends that said she was praying for me and her phone just actually dialed me and she was so apologetic because because she had thought she had woken me out of my sleep a lot of actually it was around the time when i was using my device to send off daily devotions and she was out fishing early this morning uh, using an instrument that she uses also to reel in souls. And uh, that's why it's so, it's so important. Today is really important. And I was, because I was, when I woke up, I was seeing my grandmother and my, my dad this morning. They was just smiling at me. And then uh, I smiled back. And I felt my mother's presence all over me. And it was like, like, go look in the mirror. But every time I look in the mirror, I do see my mother. I see my sister, too. And sometimes I, I don't even go to the mirror because of that. However, because it just, yeah, I'd be so in awe. Like, wow, God. Because when, when he had taken my loved ones away, because at first I was like, I ain't going to be able to live without my mother, God. But I realized that as he was, she was transitioning and everything, uh, he was pruning me, getting, bringing, reconciling me back to him because I was still kind of messed up. And, and even so, he received me back into his kingdom, and, and I'm I'm grateful. And I, I got up this morning because today is Friday the 13th, and I was just cracking up about that too. It's May. I said, I hear your questions. I'm here to answer you. I told you in my word to ask because I want you to receive. The questions that stir, stir in your heart and in your mind are in my heart and in my mind to answer you. You have my spirit of truth and wisdom in you, and you have my mind. I fulfill all your needs, and I answer all your questions. Sometimes the questions aren't what you want to hear, and sometimes the answers are far off. But notice, my child, I don't withhold wisdom from you. Ask me for wisdom. 
and understanding and you will be filled. And, and it's, uh, when I got that this morning, I was like, okay, God, I see you own it. You, 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 okay. All right, Holy Spirit, take the wheel. So I had to get up this morning and um, just come before you because I'm about to, it's, it's almost time for me to tell my story. Uh, and just, I'm going to go and I'm going to, and a lot of people might be affected by it. I've been giving people time to come forth because some of the things I'm going to say may offend some people, but not in a way where they can't um, receive it because God even chastised me because he loves me. The reason why I have to tell it is because of the distancing and the unforgiveness. Because, you know, even though in, in my household, me coming up, oh Jesus, I'm not denying Jesus, that's a small line. In my household, I didn't have a household that say what goes on in the household stays in the household. I didn't come up like that. It was just, sometimes it just wasn't always the time to say certain things. And um, and even though my mother didn't know a lot of stuff for a long time, and I withheld a lot from her because I didn't want her to be hurt because I really, really love my mother so much. And when I did tell her some things, it had really hurted her. However, but I was there to rest assured her that I was okay. And um, me and her had be we had, because I had a real, real open relationship with my mother coming up. I was a brat. I was a spoiled brat. And as you see, I take pretty good care of myself now. My mom and my dad both uh they kind of want me, my grandmothers. Uh, I don't talk about my mother's mother a whole lot, but she was, oh, she was so adorable. Um, and she loved me too, all the same. She took me to church when we left St. Louis. And I'm not going to get into that today. But um, what I do want to say is a lot of people have been, uh, not receiving some of the things that I've been saying. Uh, they probably only receive some of the stuff that they say uh, sometimes. Um, but I have opened up this this door for people to come forth just to clear themselves because once I get to telling my story, I don't want no backlashes, no nothing. Some of the people I do call and let them know before I do say certain things. Because I don't want to really hurt their feelings. But sometimes feelings are meant to be hurt. Because a lot of times people know exactly what has taken place. And they living in a state of denial. I'm no longer in bondage. I don't have any more strongholds on me. God has given me the authority to set captives free. Uh, greater is he whom dwells in me. I may come off as a little cocky. But I'm confident in knowing that that Jesus um, is giving me what he's giving me to so that I can help, not hurt, but help and not hinder. Um, and, and his family, my family is so segregated. Uh, and a lot of it got to do with a lot of uh, lack of, a lot of lack of. And uh, it's not never too late. It's never too late. Uh, maybe this story may bring everybody closer together once everybody realizes that they need to ask one another for forgiveness. Not just here in Milwaukee, but those even in St. Louis. The, um, like I said, uh, coming up unknowingly, but then later on knowing some people were related and some wasn't uh, because of all of the 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 stuff. Uh, Lust of the flesh, you know, the enemy tactics with with me coming up, really not even knowing that 
That was uh, what the enemy uses, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, to kill, steal, and destroy families. However, that's what it's been doing, and it's been doing it for years, and it still want to do it. However, I just thank God that everything that I use in my household that may be a distraction or a form of idolatry, like telephones. I use my telephones not to gossip, but to vent and to minister to people. Um, early, like I said, early this morning, I sent out daily devotionals in, individual. Uh, I do my Bible study with my cousin daily uh, on because uh, she lives in another a state, and and I I use everything according to the way it needs to be used because only what I do for Christ is gonna last. I've been recognizing a lot of people feeling like they persecuted or being judged because they're not where God have me at. However, I came from somewhere too, and I have to let people know that. And and I'm letting people also know you don't have to be stuck there, you know, um, because I was. I was stuck for a long time. And, and God had me so equipped where I could unstick myself and get go get it, do it again. And uh, unstick myself, but sometimes it'd be that much worse going back. And, and for me, it's been a long time, and I'm not going backwards. I'm moving forward and looking to the hills from which come in my help. Because I know where all my help come from. It come from the Lord. Who created all of this. All of this. He's in everything. He is everything. Um, even the hair on my head. He's in this. He's in my clothes. I don't I don't take him out of nothing. Because I can't even breathe without him. I'm in my word daily. Uh, I got big things coming up. Everything consists of Jesus in my life. I've lost a lot, however, I gained more after losing and realizing that the losses ain't really a loss. Um, if the person just got lost themselves, you know, um, I just got to keep forging forward. And then I got a, another uh, a message today um, that came from man of God over in Chicago because he's normally seeing them on Mondays and Fridays and I send them out to the uh, to the daily devotionals and it's called write the check he says so if the son set you free you are free indeed John 8 36 he said Jesus and his disciples introduced the world to a whole new doctrine that in him there is no bondage, fear, worry, lack, shame, or guilt. He is the way to freedom for whatever you need or desire. No good thing will he withhold from you. Pray bold prayers to lift yourself out of depression, fear, lack, or worry. You are my child. You are a child of the Most High, says what you desire. Your words will not come back void. Write the check in Jesus' name. And he said, Happy Friday. And I always get kind of thrown off with that because everything I, I always put it, get put everything on God. If something go wrong in my life, I say, Okay, God, you because I'm looking for answers from Him. I never look for answers from people because people don't got the answers that I need. And then I also had, I had come kind of, when I was um, with the uh, Echo Heirs, I had actually talked to Minister Joe, who is uh, the, uh, the lead of the Echo Heirs, and I was um, telling him about, I actually got him a video tape with me talking to him about about testimonies and he's like tell your testimony and uh 
because who do you really care? You got to answer to him, not <laughs> To God or to the people. Because I, got, I had to tell somebody the other day that I gave up people pleasing a long time ago. Because people ain't never satisfied. People ain't satisfied when you're happy. People ain't satisfied when you're sad. Matter of fact, misery really, really has been uh, a real big, played a big role in people's life. If you become miserable just because that's what they want you to be. So what God has allowed me to do is kind of take all of that away from other people that thought that they were going to be able to do that to me. And now I'm winning. I'm winning. I like that song. We win. However, um, I want to thank my girlfriend, uh, Alicia uh, Harris. I want to thank you for uh, understanding me and... Uh, because we had kind of fell off, like she said. But God always hurdles and stumbling blocks always. Um, when something is good about to happen in your life, the enemy always throw fiery darts in, the, in your path. But God always make a way of escape for you. However, sometimes when you can't reach the people like you want to reach them, you have to back off sometimes. But I thank God for your strength. Um, because when the Holy Spirit, when He does what He do, because I hadn't talked to my friend for over a, a, a year. He gave me the, the opportunity, He gave me the perfect time to... To reach out to her and and she 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 received me back and um, I thank God for her. I just want to tell you thank you uh, because I I need I need you in my life. You uh, was a good person that I could reach out and talk to. And even though people sometimes think that it's about them, it's not about them. It's about Jesus, and that's how come we still close like we was. Like nothing ever happened because it was never about us anyway. We, you know, other people will tend to want to uh, make it about them. But like I said, God has fixed it so I don't, it, it don't even matter anymore about them. It's either my way, your way, or Yahweh. So uh, I chose his way and um like I said, I'm all, it's I'm probably going to hurt a lot of people because it's a lot of things that people think that I don't know. Um, because my children have told me, just like when my brother was here the other day, um, I had told him uh, why something had happened. I, I could get a little in deeper, uh, deeper about that because after sitting down talking to each individual and everything that everybody was saying about me is starting to ring a bell why stuff had occurred. But I'm, I'm just grateful today. And, and just enjoy because it's about to happen. I got a lot going on right now. I even got a big meeting coming up in, in, just, a, in just a few hours. In just a few hours. Um... Because I got some big things God got planned uh, for you, for you. Uh, so I just want y'all to stay in coverage, no matter what's going on. Just stay in courage. Because, yeah, <laughs> within these next two, three months, I'm going to have all my story about it out. It's, I'm going to tell it all. I don't allow people to come forth. And the, the people, more people are coming forth. You heard a, a, the young lady who had just met me. Felt like she know that's who I was really supposed to be in all the time. Uh, and I thank God for knowing that too. I was like, oh, God, you something else. Um, but he allow you to go through stuff. 
And he had no, he's not the one that make us go through stuff. He's not the ones that's putting anything in our hands and our mouth. He's not, uh, let, uh, he allow us to, to tread the path that we want to tread. He allow us to do what we want to do to fall and bump our heads. And, um, and if I didn't have a story, I wouldn't be able to help nobody know that God could deliver you too. So I'm not struggling with anything. I'm not battling with anything. I, I don't have any ill feelings about nothing or nobody. Um, I just want to be a helper to you because you need help. Help people can help people. Even some of the hurt that I had can help you. Even though hurt people can hurt people too. But I'm no longer hurting. Because I cast all my cares and worries on my God. And He cared for me. So you're looking at a new creature in Christ. I'm born again. I've, I'm an overcomer. And, 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 and that's all I have for you. I'm not... Um, Boasting in me, I'm boasting because of God and He, because He the one that delivered me, because I had it in me to to lay all my weight on Him. All my struggles, everything that I had, I gave them to God. I didn't keep them to myself. I needed His help, and He helped me. I knew Him. I was trained up as a child to know who He was. All of those who taught me about them, they're gone now. Who else do I got? I don't got you. You you going doing the other you going the other way. Follow me as Christ lead me. In the name of Jesus, that's all I'm gonna say today. And then I'm gonna come with a little video because I was stuck in the elevator and um it's a, something that make me laugh. So I I love you all. God bless you and. And you too can be saved too. You can be delivered. You can be set free from the poverty and from sin. All you got to do is just turn from your wicked ways. Like he said, if it's people who are called by his name will humble themselves and pray and seek his face and turn from their wicked ways, he will hear from heavens and he will forgive your sin and heal your land. All you got to do is the things that you, you sin with, with your hands, you don't got to cut them off. Just cut the stuff off. Cut the stuff off. That's all you got to do. And make that evident. That substance evident. That you don't do it anymore. Because you, your faith is wavering when you just keep doing it. And your faith and your works ain't working. So, it worked for me. They all work for me, for my good, because everything God created was good. So if you can find it in your heart to forgive and just understand that I'm free, that's why I got my butterflies on today. I don't know why he made me put this shirt on. I just got the snatching tags off. I got some matching pants to go with them. I'm going to be free today on Friday the 13th. <laughs> Cause I ain't playing Jason. I don't even play with them movies no more. However, <sighs> let me help you help yourself in the name of Jesus. <sighs> That's all I can say today. Cause uh, it feels good over here on this side. I be in a lot of pain, but I don't complain. Mentally, physically, psychologically, naturally, spiritually, I'm on top. And I ain't coming down. I love you. God bless you. And may he keep you in perfect peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let me get back to what I was doing. Thank you, Jesus, for this time. Because none of it belongs to me. It all belongs to you, Lord.